everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Support System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some NBA action for April 4th, I want to invite you to join. Once again, you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, the NBA season is down in the final few games, and every game is important for final playoff seedings. So let's take a look at some of the games. First game we want to look at is scroll down through here. A lot of games set to be played. We're only going to take a look at four of them. Okay, the first one is the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. Atlanta comes in average down. You can see they're three and three over their last six, coming off of a loss to Brooklyn. While the Bulls are average, they are also three and three over their last six, but they are coming off of a 30-point blowout win on the road against Charlotte. On the power ranks indicator, you can see that. Atlanta has pulled it above Chicago in this category, plus 11 to plus 8. And you can see that Atlanta is average down and Chicago is average status at the moment on the team strength oscillator. The teams have been involved in games more under the line than over. You can see Atlanta, two of their last three have been under, and three out of the last five for Chicago have been under. The score predictor has Chicago by two points, 112 to 110, with about 72% level of confidence in the prediction. If you check the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see here uh, that Chicago has won the last two contests. If you take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator, how, stability, how stable have the two teams been? You can see that the teams have been pretty stable, meaning they've been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, 13 uh, for Atlanta and 10 for Chicago. So in the end, though, I watched Chicago to win this one at home, and I will predict this game to go over the line. Okay, the next game we want to look at is Boston and Philadelphia. This is a game of the day. Both teams are coming in burning hot, two of the top teams in the NBA. Boston has won five out of their last six, while Philadelphia has won four out of their last six. The teams have been trending in, in games on opposite sides of the line. You can see Boston three out of their last four over, while Philadelphia three out of their last four has been under the line. On the power ranks indicator, you can see that Boston is up at plus 29, while Philadelphia took a tumble from, from plus 29 down to 17, and they're back up to plus 18. The score predictor has Boston by a single point, 117 to 116, with about 51% level of confidence in the prediction. This should be a, a barn burner, really. Um, if you take a look at the season series, though, Boston has dominated winning all three contests first one by nine, the second one by seven, both at home and by three on the road. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, both teams are very, very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. You can see a pretty much a completely upward trend for both teams in this category, 28-27. In the end, I think this is going to be a Philadelphia game. It's very difficult to beat a team four times in a row in a single season. Especially two good teams, I think Philadelphia comes out on top in this one, and I would pick the game to go over the line. Okay, the next game we want to look at is Portland and Memphis. Two teams heading in opposite directions here. You can see Portland dead status. They have lost their last five, and they're just one and, and uh, five over the last six. While Memphis is burning hot, they're coming off of a win, and they are five and one over their last six games. On the power ranks indicator, not a surprise here. Memphis is much ahead of. Portland, Memphis at plus 27, while Portland is been stable over the last couple of days at plus 5. Um, the over-under, you can see that Portland has been involved in games over the line two of the last four, and Memphis in three of the last four. The score predictor, though, if this holds true, this would go over the line, 128-121, favor of Memphis with a very high level of confidence and prediction of 78%. In the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that uh, they played twice this season, and Portland had won one on the road, and Memphis won one on the road. So both teams won the road matchups. And I don't think that trend is going to continue, though. I like Memphis at home. I picked this game to go over the line. Okay, the last game we want to look at for the day is the Los Angeles Lakers and the Utah Jazz. Another game with teams heading in opposite directions. Utah is dead status, coming off of a loss, and they're just 1-5 over their last six. While the Lakers are burning hot 5-1 and one over their last six contests. If you take a look at the over-under, both teams have been putting points on the board, and the opponents have been as well, as 
there's been over in uh, eight of the last ten games combined. The score predictor has the Lakers by a comfortable margin, 124 to 110, with about 73% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranks, indicate the teams have both been up and down and not really very high, right? Neither team has been very high among the power rankings all season. Uh, Lakers are at plus 10 at the moment, and Utah is at plus 7. Head to head, Utah won the last meeting by 23 points back on November 7th, and then on November 4th, Utah won again by 14 at home. But this is a different scenario right now. Utah is playing bad. The Lakers are playing very well. I like the Lakers on the road. I don't think it's going to be by a 14 point margin, but I like the Lakers and a game going over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the four games for the NBA for April the 4th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.